Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, uh, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time visiting. Uh, the Elder Millennial here, and I wanted to uh, expand on something that I covered in my last video, which was how to set up uh, pen MAME tables uh, in Visual Pinball on Botticera version 38. Now, one question I've been getting in the comments uh, a few times uh, has been with people that have been able to get the tables running but that are missing the DMD or the scoreboard display. Uh, let's take a look at a table right now and show you exactly what those people are talking about. I'm going to use Penbot as an example. And we've got the table loaded up and as you can see I'm able to start it and it works fine uh, with the exception of the DMD. It's just not there. I can't see what my score is. Uh, and some tables have other uh, useful uh, little things that the DMD is used for. Uh, for example, there's a Star Wars table that will sometimes ask you trivia and you have to put in a response and you, if you can't see that then it's not going to be very useful is it so the steps for adding it are going to be very similar on most tables uh, and a lot of times it's already there it's just not uh it's just hidden or not visible so i'm going to exit the table and switch over to my desktop Okay, we're here on the desktop. Now we're gonna need the table script for the table uh, that we're trying to play and add the DMD to, because uh, we're gonna need to edit the table script. Uh, I do recommend going here, uh, and the table script is gonna be a .vbs file. So I do recommend coming to this GitHub page. I'll put all the links in the description of the video down below. Uh, but for example, like here's the script for Medieval Madness. Uh, I do recommend you look through here and let's say if you were playing uh, the Family Guy table, I'll just pick it at random here, you would go into here and you would download this VBS file. If you click it here, I think it gives you a download option right here. Download the raw file and you can download that. The .vbs file needs to go in the same directory as your table file or your vpx file uh, which would be typically under user data roms vpinball on your botacera system uh, but if your vpx file is in a, another folder under that then the vbs file needs to go into that same folder so the vbs needs to be in the same place as the vpx okay now that we got that cleared up uh, there's going to be cases where you don't see the table you want to play listed here. For example, Pinbot. There's, there actually is a Pinbot one here. Um, but what we will do is uh, show you how to extract the table script from the table file. So I'm going to go into my user data ROMs vpinball directory. I have a subfolder for pinbot. And here is my table file, the vpx file. So to extract the table script, we're going to do this user bin vpinball vpinball x underscore gl keep in mind this is a linux system so it is case sensitive extract vbs and then we're going to give it our vpx file name 
Now, we're currently in the directory with the VPX file. So I don't need to put the full path, but if you're in a different directory, you would need to put the entire path to the VPX file, like uh, user data slash ROM slash vpinball slash whatever .vpx. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And you'll see now we have a pinbot williams 1986vbs file. So that is our table script file. And that is how you get one if you can't find one on that site I showed you. This is how you'll extract it from the VPX file. So let's go and take a look at that VBS file. Before we do that, though, I want to show this other link. Again, I will have this in the uh, link to this in the uh, description down below. Uh, but there is a uh, sort of a workaround section listed here. And one of the questions is, my game is not displaying a DMD. And it goes into uh, some details on what you can possibly do. Uh, a lot of times it may just be that, uh, like I said, uh, the, the field is hidden for whatever reason, and maybe you need to change the visibility from false to true, or you need to set, uh, I think it's usually like dot hidden to a zero instead of a one. Uh, but they give some code that needs to be added to the table script uh, for tables that use vpin MAME. Now, all of this may not be necessary. Some of these elements may already be there. You need to look for these first. Uh, it even tells you down below here that this must appear before the load VPM call, and you should always check the table for existing use VPM DMD or use VPM colored DMD variables. So if I look here at this pinbot uh, VPS we just extracted, there's load VPM. So somewhere above that, and I don't see anything, there's not much above it, so I don't see the other things it mentioned being there, the use VPM or whatever. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here. And I'm going to copy this block right here. I'm already in insert mode. So I'm going to paste that in. And save it. And now, and now we'll switch back over to Vodacera. I'm going to go ahead and do an update games list, because uh, I just like to do that whenever I've changed anything. Uh, just for good measure. And now let's launch Pinbot. And as you can see, we now have a DMD display up in the top left corner. So we can keep track of our our score and see any other useful information that uh, the table may have for us.
Okay, I'm going to exit out of that one. Um, but yeah, so that is just a quick and dirty um, how you will basically add uh, the DMD display or get it to show up if it's not showing up for you in your whatever table you're trying to run. Uh, like I said, keep in mind, you're going to need to see if there's uh, already uh, the use VPM elements. If they're already there, you may not need to put them back in. Uh, so you may only need bits and pieces of that code on that website I showed you. But, you know, take a look at the uh, VBS files that you have or that you extract from your tables. See what's already there and add in what you need. There may be some experimentation required. But this should help you get your uh, scoreboard displays uh, visible and working on some of the tables that you currently have where maybe they are missing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please go ahead and give this video a like if you found it useful. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you on the next one.